Hello YouTube, this is Chesco from STEM APKs. Welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be covering some basic Linux networking that will make your life a lot simpler uh, and it will help you to transfer files from your desktop into your Raspberry Pi and from your Raspberry Pi into your desktop. Uh, so well, let's get started. I'm going to be showing you some uh, graphical user interfaces ones and some command lines. I mean, it's up to you. Uh, whatever is suitable to your own situation, you can pick among the, the ones that I'm going to show you. And the first one that I'm going to show you is uh, it's just the one that is available to you by almost by default. Is the you need to in order to use the to see the graphical user interfaces in your desktop, you have to enter the the dash uh, capital X before you enter your username and your IP address. So let's do... and it's going to ask you for your password. This is just like what we did in the first re tutorial. And the first one is this one. You know this one already because you probably used it already. If you're looking for a file, you just enter Midori and it will show on your desktop and so that way you can see on your desktop open the the Midori browser like if it, if you were in front of your TV or, or, or monitor but as you can see it's very slow I mean if you wanted to go to search forge and download the open CV that we downloaded in our first video it can be done but as you can see it's very laggy very slow and it's going to take a while. So it is a choice. So I just I just wanted to to show it to you, but it's it's slow. So let me show you another one, another graphical user interface. You can use this one. If you don't have it installed already, I'm going to show you how to get it installed. You more likely have heard of it, but I have I'm going to I have it installed on my Pi already and I have it installed on my desktop so I'm gonna show you this is the one from my desktop and this is I'm gonna open the one in my Pi and this is the one from my Pi in order for this to open on your desktop you also need that uh, capital X right here before uh, when you SSH or if not it's not it's, it, it won't work. You it will throw an error. Okay, so as you can see, right here, I'm inside my Pi, and when I open this one, I'm on my desktop. Okay, so you can see here, it says home Chesco desktop, and these are all my files here. And when here, I'm on on the Pi. As you can see, these are all the Pi stuff, okay? I'm just going to show you, I'll give you an example so you know how to do it. You can do it back and forth, you can do it to you know, set it up that you can uh, send it to from the Pi to the desktop, but let me do the desktop to the Pi because more likely this is what you will be doing. All you need to do is set it up, let me let me delete this one so I do a new one so you see it from the beginning. All you need to do is enter new site and you put your your number here your uh, your Pi Pi's uh, IP address secure file transfer protocol it uses port 22 by default um, the way it has it most of the time it has it set up by uh, to anonymous by default I'm gonna change it to ask for a password and instead of saying anonymous here you're going to change it to your username in my case my username is pi and then hit here connect and it's going to ask for your password and then you enter your password whatever password you have for the pi and it's going to ask you for the rsa keys it's going to check the ssh uh, rsa's you say yes and boom there you're inside the pi okay and now you find the file that you want to download let's say I want to download this file right here uh, commands 
you right click on it upload and it's done it's telling me that I already have one file named that I'll say it, overwrite it yes and if I check here on my pie and you can see here it's right there and it's comments and I, I could view, view it I can look at it and see and view it and, and, and see that that's the one that you want it to so this is also another choice it's, it's, uh, it's very convenient it can become very convenient if you like um, if you like uh, graphical user interfaces the other one is more uh, the other two are more command lines let me show you here let's say I'm gonna be using the the we get command uh, we already used it in the first tutorial and you probably know about it but it's a very powerful command and all you need is the uh, the w get we get w get and you get uh, the URL that you want to download for example in this case I want to download this folder right here this file the OpenCV and let's say as you can see here on the on this area right here when I hover over it it tells me the file that I need okay so I click on it and it gives me the whole file here with the zip I click on it and then I'm gonna cancel it because I already have it so I don't want it um, but you you cancel here and you get it from right here this is the URL that you need I'm gonna copy and paste and put it here and that's all you need right we get the URL hit enter and it's gonna start downloading into your into your uh, Raspberry Pi or your desktop in this case it's your desktop but you can do either one I'm gonna stop it because I already have it but uh, as you can see you can do the same in your Raspberry Pi take the same command just want to show you that it works you know we get download and it works just the same on your Raspberry Pi it's starting to download as you can see right here on your right and uh, and this is a fast way to get a, a download from your from your terminal I'm gonna stop it uh, another command is uh, it's this one right here uh, and is this one I'm gonna be lazy I'm gonna copy and paste and it's this one right here is the SCP command and the advantage of this one you don't even need to be logged in but you ha don't need to be SSH inside you don't need to log in all you need to do is do the SCP the name of the file all you need to be in the same directory of the file that you're transferring for example let's let's make sure copy um, let's delete it all you need to you need to be in the same directory so cd desktop ls and then you do here paste the command so you're in desktop I know that I have a file named commands because I just used it and I'm gonna send it to the username pi at this address and at this folder you just hit enter it's gonna ask you for your password put your password and it's done it went transfer and you don't need to log in you don't need to SSH into it all you need to do is know the IP address the username and the password and you can transfer big files like this this is a, a very efficient way and I use it all the time but I wanted to give you some choices of graphical user interfaces and also command line type of commands and, and, and like I said it's up to you and, and whatever is suitable to your own situation.
But this is the end of this tutorial. Like I, I always say, if you like this tutorial, please click the like box and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you next time. Thank you for watching.